So, Llama, are you ready for this uh, review? Ready for the video? Llama? Llama? <sighs> Crickets. Well, I'm here to review the Llama Village, the new Minecraft set from LEGO. It pretty much does everything but talk. Hello everybody, this is Dr. McBrick and I am here with set 21188, the Llama Village Minecraft set from Lego that came out just a few weeks ago. And I'll tell you what, it is pretty cool. And when I said at the beginning of the uh, video that uh, it does pretty much everything but talk, that's true. If you're a Minecraft fan, it really does have a lot to offer. And if you're not a Minecraft fan, I'll tell you what, it's still a very, very fun build. So let's take a look at it. All right, so... What we have here is the llama village. Now let me show you the llama first. And it is, <laughs> I saw this set and it is the funniest, craziest set that um, I think that I've seen. Now, you know, Lego has come out with some crazy uh, player builds from Minecraft. Um, and of course I don't have a turntable, so I'm using my hands. Please forgive me, look at that. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry about that, Jang. Um, anyway, uh, <laughs> he is the gold standard of reviews. So if you wanna see real reviews, Go to his channel. Um, but anyway, I try to give you kind of my own personal views, try to tell some stories, try to laugh a little bit and just have fun with it and show it to you in the wild as opposed to on the uh, on the on the turntable. Of course, that's not my job. Anyway, why am I even talking about that? Let's talk about this flipping llama. Look at this. This is an awesome, awesome piece of Minecraft player built llama village. And, you know, I would like to try to build this in Minecraft, and I think Piper and I are going to try to build this same thing in Minecraft. Now, it's going to be super huge, but but what the hey. Anyway, um, you can see all the details. I mean, you have these banners. I mean, it looks just like the llama that would kind of show up and you would do some trading for and all that kind of stuff, or that you would tame to make your own. Um, it has the obligatory tree right there. That's the only tree in the whole set. Um, and it's supposed to be a whole village. There are a lot of side builds that I will show you. Um, this head to be honest with you, building this head made me laugh and smile for real. Uh, it just really was cool the way they built it. And it has a special play feature that I'll show you here in a minute. Um, and it's it's hilarious. These are just, I mean, this is just a silly build. It's got um, the the kind of a ladder-ish to go to the, up to the top here. Of course, there's all kinds of jumpers all over the place on which you can uh, put your figures, you can put flower pots, you can put all kinds of things. Underneath of the la 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 llama, um, there's not much there. It's totally empty as a matter of fact. Um, and so you could even do a build under there and build a heck of a fortress and stuff like that. You could even put some of the side builds sideways in here um, and use it that way as well. But you see there's a balcony off there and everything like that. Um, the roof up here, there's a map table inside here. Um, and so you can see the map table and uh, there's a compass there and things like that. So you can go and plan. Now this right here is that feature I was telling you about that's actually kind of just fun and silly. And if any of you are like, hey, wait a minute, this isn't real Minecraft. You know what? It is silly Minecraft is what it is. Um, and uh, that's what I really, really like about it. I was drawn to this, um, not because uh, the entrance to the, to the, to the, to the uh, house is in the llama's butt, for some reason, I'm not really sure about that. But um, anyway, there's the ladder. There's, uh, um, well, it's a half a ladder. I mean, you'd have to be pretty tall or jump pretty high, do a double jump or something to get up to there. What you can do is you can take this off and I would recommend this if you really wanna be real, make a ladder and then that way your figures can climb all the way up to the top. But if you just, uh, <laughs> no pun intended, if you just put this on, you can actually seal up the door there. And uh, that uh, closes the llama's butt and it also, um, opens up into the house. And so this is just, I mean, this is just fun. It's fun any way you cut it. So let's take a look. Now here's another balcony on this side. This side is stable. This side has nothing. It has the ladder, of course, right there. You can come off the balcony and climb up to the top of the llama. Um, man, my light over here. Let me turn off my light. I think it's given some, my Dr. McBrick light is uh, um, given some uh, serious issues here. All right, let's turn that off. 
And um, hey, don't forget, by the way, you can go to the Dr. McBrick store and you can buy mugs and uh, um, all kinds of, uh, you know, ice type of uh, um, great uh, cups for the summer and the, uh, the cooling cups and all that kind of cool stuff and some t-shirts. But anyway, that's at teespring.com, the Dr. McBrick store. That was a shameless plug. Let's get back to this. Um, so this is the llama, okay? And this is his face. Now, what's interesting is I told you this was really silly. Now, what are llamas known for? I remember when my mom used to take me as a kid to this place that had llamas. And every time I would get close to a llama, because I'm like, oh, let's pet him, because look, they're nice and fluffy. But you know what? Every time I get close to him, guess what they do? They would spit on me. That's right. <laughs> oh, no, and I knocked the tree off, too. Oh, my gosh, the only tree in the whole set. And I've already knocked it off and cut it down. At least it's not a floating tree, right? Um, anyway, this is spit. And that is just awesome. And the way you do it is you come up here to the top of the head. And this is ingenious, to be quite honest. I mean, it's very, whoa, very simple, but very ingenious. Whoa, oh, shoot, I got to close this. All right, there we go. First of all, you close this. So that way, your spittle won't fall out. And then you put one cube in. You take another spittle cube. <laughs> And you put that in and it seals up the head so you don't even know what's in there. It's kind of a secret for your friends. When they pull that out, the llama will spit on them. Lots of nice details too if you see um, how they broke it up so that it's not just all, um, all kind of uh, uh, white block. Um, and in game it would be, you know, white concrete or white wool or whatever you want to use for, you know, for this that would be white and gray and all these different colors. But they use these as well. And I like those. Um, and uh, I, I like the way they, they've broken it up a little bit. Down for the legs, they've used those as well. Um, so everything you look at is different. And it has, there's a window there. They didn't put any glass or anything in there. Um, but this part here opens up and you can see inside of this house. As a matter of fact, you can take this off, which is just a basic roof piece, the back of the llama, and you can see this is a great house. I mean, look at that. They've used these, uh, these uh, two thirds pieces right here that are relatively new for um, pots and candlesticks and stuff, for candlesticks. Um, they've also used those for pots um, in a couple of the, the side builds. Um, they have two beds, the carpet that matches, um, and things like that, a crafting table, um, a furnace. They even have a round, a round loaf of bread, which is really cool. The furnace is on, the crafting table's there. They have um, a few things. And look at the way those cha chairs are made. I mean, those are pretty cool chairs. Uh, they also have a bookshelf that divides the bedroom from the living room. And in the bookshelf is a creeper head, which just is really, really cool. But... Like a lot of Minecraft players would do, they have an aquarium. Now, I know I love to put aquariums in my Minecraft houses. And this, for some reason, is just a little twisted. It's bothering me. I guess you could put that diagonally, too, and it would look cool. But anyway, I love to make aquariums inside of my builds. And this is an aquarium. And it's cool. It's got a fish in it. I love it. It's absolutely great. So this is really detailed up top here um, for the village. And you can open that up, close it, and you got a really nice fortress. You put the... Uh, the, the, the top back on it and it all closes up and it all seals on the jumpers very, very nicely. So that is the llama build and that face is just really, really cool the way they build it. Like I said, I just smiled when I saw that and when I was building it. The only repetition part is down here on the base um, is the feet and we know it's all about the base. So what do we do? Um, and you know, I, I, I'm trying to hold the camera with one hand and do this with another. So I'm probably gonna break it here. And, and uh, anyway, oh, there we go. There we go. We have liftoff, Houston. Um, literally, liftoff. And so you can take this whole piece here um, and you can set it down and you have your llama there. So you can even make this as part of the village and just keep it like that. You could build this, these legs come off here, all four of those. The bottom ones are affixed to the base plate there. Well, not a base plate, but just the basic plate. Um, and uh, anyway, so you have this too, which you can build in, you can play in, um, all kinds of stuff like that. And so it's really cool because, you know, you could set the llama up just like that. Now, of course, I don't know if PETA would really like that because you've just taken off the llama's legs or you could take off 
these legs and make a stubby little llama. So maybe you want to make a short llama. Um, that would be kind of cool too. Uh, you know, let's see if I can grab the llama here without tearing them up. These, I mean, this this thing is actually very very solid. Um, and now that I say that, it'll it'll break, and then I'll be embarrassed. Um, but yeah, there goes a tree because my uh, thing hit it. So anyway, so yeah, so I mean, you could you could set it on there like that, um, make a little overhang. You could set it the other way like it's supposed to, make it overhang that way. Um, Oh, let's see here. I apologize for, oh my goodness. And see, this is why I'm not Jang because my videos are not the standard. They're just uh, regular videos. So anyway, so yeah, so that would make kind of a stubby one. And to be honest with you, if you did that, then the butt door would work because then you could climb up to the butt door. Um, but uh, <laughs> they give you the tall ones because llamas aren't really stubby. I mean, this could be like a baby llama. Um, but uh, anyway, you probably want to put the other other builds on it. If not, you can use these for some other type of build. So that is the llama. Now let's show you all of these side parts. Now, if you're going to call it the llama village, you need to have village stuff. So here's the village stuff that this comes with. It comes with a nice little well with some flowers there, which is really kind of neat and just basic well. I like these new jumper plates that are trans blue. Um, they look really cool. And it comes with the basic plate with flowers. So all of them come on these 12 by six uh, plates, green plates. And you can, of course, use them however you want. Then it comes with a little farm. You can't have a village without a little farm, right? And some vegetables and things. There's a stand for selling goods and wares. Um, there is a stable for keeping your other llamas um, or a horse or whatever. And of course, then we have inside here, uh, if you can see, if I hold it up, it's, um, there's a furnace and there's a workshop basically inside of there um, from which to do stuff. Now, the way this hooks up onto the llama is you, um, they give you these bricks right here. And so you can use these to connect stuff onto the base of the llama if you like. Now it shows on the uh, on the on the uh, the picture of the of the the box how how the suggested way of doing things but you know what I don't do suggested I just do um, and so you can place these any way you want and I think it shows there that is a suggested way to do it but you can place these wherever you want in the village there are jumpers placed over here in the front so you can if you'd like you could place one of these now you got to move the infamous single tree here um, you could place one of these at the front and these jumpers are lined up exactly so that you can put one of these uh, down here so you could put any of these down here you could put the well um, you know anything like that you could do what however you want you could arrange it however you want that sort of thing um, you know back here um, with uh, with uh, you know I think maybe I'll put the garden back here on these jumpers or you know what I'll use these here and I'll just connect it um, sorry about the camera. Uh, I'll just connect it with these uh, here. And then that way, um, then when the llama does its business, um, it'll fertilize the garden. <laughs> sorry. I know there's too many jokes with this thing with this. Um, anyway, it is, it is a fun set. And, you know, it's not meant, I wouldn't think, to be taken seriously. It's meant to have fun for kids, for even A-falls like myself, for goofy A-falls like me. Um, it's, meant, it's meant to have fun, isn't it, llama? All right, so there are all of the village builds. Now let's take care, or let's take a, um, a look at the actual figures that come with the set. So here are the villagers and the illagers. Um, you know, it sounds like a uh, 1980s or 70s band, doesn't it? The villagers and illagers. Anyway, the thing I like about these, uh, and this has been mentioned by several reviewers, um, is that they're starting to make Minecraft figures with different faces. And you see that here with the same basic uh, body, although they're different bodies on these, um, different torsos and things like that, same basic legs and same basic shapes, but they're different features. And I like that a lot. And here are the two Minecraft people figures. Uh, one is uh, in complete armor, which is really, really cool to see that armor actually being shown and actually being in a set. Um, and then I love the orange pants on this uh, person here and uh, they have a wonderful sweater a torso print all that sort of thing um, even on the back of this guy, this this person here and uh, she has the same or they have the same uh, sweater pattern back there as well so I really like that now let's take a look at the animals I'm just going to bring them over here of course we have a little sheep and this little sheep um, uh, is uh, kind of uh, just just starting to get their wool, right? Um, and then uh, we have 
a baby llama. And the baby llama looks a lot like the llama village. So maybe that's the llama mama. Um, and then we have, maybe this is the father llama. Well, that would be interesting. Um, and then we have another llama as well. So you get two llamas in this set, the basic llama uh, molds uh, and pieces from Lego that we've seen in the past, I believe, uh, and one little, one little tiny baby sheep. So with that said, um, please like, share, subscribe, uh, join if you like. Um, we really, really, I'm gonna just pull out back here and go back here to, uh, to the llama. Um, really, really enjoy uh, get sending you or giving, <laughs> I can't even talk. You know, that's what happens when you have brain surgery, right? Um, so anyway, uh, as you can see in the background, way back there, um, I'm getting ready to uh, build my um, uh, my Minecraft diorama. And I got all kinds of Minecraft sets. I'll be doing a separate video on those and having you, uh, the viewer, help me out in where to place certain Minecraft sets. Um, and I have Minecraft sets going back many years, number of years and stuff, um, actually in, when uh, they started. So um, I'm going to have a pretty big diorama of Minecraft. I know some of you don't like Minecraft. A lot of you have said you don't really like it. Um, and I get it. I totally get it. But, you know, Piper and I and Adrian have been playing Minecraft since they were little, little babies. I mean, literally two years old on the iPad playing Minecraft. Um, they were doing it. And so we, uh, we, we love it in our family. We have many realms and things like that that we keep up. Uh, and, uh, you know, I'm willing to open some of those up to some of my viewers uh, as we go along with the Minecraft. I'm also going to be building, don't worry, going to be building other Lego models as well that aren't Minecraft and that are Star Wars and City and all kinds of stuff. But for now, this makes me happy. That made me laugh. And this oh, makes me laugh even more. This is Dr. McBrick signing, what, what, signing, come on, this has to, it's stuck, signing out, all right, see you later, bye.